I'm here with Anya Rudden of Anya's Chocolates. You're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, most, of the, most of our viewers will know I started off my broadcasting career in Dublin in a station called Phoenix FM. And my very first interview on a business program was a young Anya Rudden in Cool Mine Industrial Estate. So good to catch up with you again. Oh, thank you. That's where I actually started my business many moons ago. That's right. Uh, I, 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 had, I was living in Dublin at the time and uh, I had a business around the corner from as well and I was involved in Phoenix FM and we were looking after the budding uh, companies that were coming up and little did I know that uh, we'd enter the event up with one as big as yourselves on our own doorstep. Yeah, we moved to Cavan six years ago. After, uh, after Dublin, we moved to Oldcastle and we outgrew our premises in Oldcastle and then we moved to our my home village, Osterdone Village, where we uh, manufacture all our products there now today. Now, export is a huge market for you. In fact, you now export to Kuwait, I'm told, or Qatar. Uh, we export internationally now. Um, I'm just actually back from a trip from China last week. Well done. So I hope to get into the Chinese market in the next year. Uh, we sell into Moscow, Russia. Uh, we also sell to Dubai and we sell to UK as well. How does a small company from Stradone get into these markets? Uh, I suppose it's um, knocking on doors. Um, our, our product is uh, it's quite unique. Um, we produce a very, very quality product. And um, we're, we're just a very good product. Um, we're competing with European chocolatiers, but you know our product is as good. And we're, we, we are getting into those markets and our products selling very well in these markets. Because I'm thinking again, you said your competition would not be the likes of the Cadbury's or the next I do, it would be up market, continental chocolate, a lot of brands that are well known. You go to Moscow and say, hi, I'm from Anya's chocolate. Not only are you not well known, they probably never have heard of you. How do you break down those barriers and get, and get to the person who wants to buy? It's hard enough to get to, to meet a purchaser in Ireland. But when you're talking a different company, how do you break that down when you're such a small company? I know your product is wonderful, but it has to be more than that. Uh, well, we've, we enter a lot of uh, great taste awards. So we've 25 great taste awards for our products. Um, we work with the Irish Food Board. Um, we do shows internationally and like, like shows like this. So we travel a lot. You know, we send samples, and I think it's the taste and the uniqueness of our product that people realise that it's such good quality at a commercial price. Mm. And what sort of a reaction are you getting here in your home county of Cavan at Taste of Cavan? Uh, it was absolutely fantastic because, you know, even though we're here locally and people, we're a well-known company within Cavan, there's lots of people that don't know us. So it's great to meet the actual consumer and they love to meet the, the maker as well. So they love to meet Anya of Anya's Chocolates. Yes, that's true. Anya, thank you so much for your time. That's Anya Rudden of Anya's Chocolates. Thank you.